Welcome to one of my most beloved meditations of Osho is uh, Guri Shankar meditation. Uh, the name Guri Shankar comes from a high mountain in Nepal and as you know the higher you go the less oxygen you have. So in the first stage we generate less oxygen in our blood through the breeze. So the first stage is a breathing stage. You will slow down your breathing in that way that you breathe as slow as possible. And when you breathe in, then when you are full, you hold your breath as long as you can do it without, you know, cramping. You know, where you can still be relaxed. Then slowly you breathe out, as slow as you can. It's also not forcing it out, it's not the last drop out, yeah? Just breathing out like you would do. Then hold on the low point again, as long as you comfortably can do. Then breathe in again, slowly hold, breathe out, slowly hold. That is the first stage and that will deprive you of oxygen and bring you into the altitude of Guru Shankar. You may also feel some kind of death feeling. Yeah, so if it gets too scary or if you feel, oh, if I don't get air, I die. You know, they just relax with this, take a breeze and then go back to the technique. Sit relaxed with your eyes closed. Breathe gently in through the nose, out through the mouth. Hold the breath in and then out for as long as possible. Whenever meditation touches your inner depth, the feeling of death comes. Because that very point where you touch yourself is the beginning of you and the end of your ego. So your ego goes through a feeling of death. Not exactly death, but great panic. Next time it happens, don't be afraid. Just move in it. Once you allow it to happen, you will become alive for the first time. Then you will know that you are deathless. Nothing can destroy you, not even death. stage you open the eyes and here we have two options we can use a candle and we can use a stroboscope light so first I explain the candle so what you will do you will gaze into the flame yeah just focus onto the flame but with very soft eyes it's not like staring there but just relax the eyes and let the light of the candle enter you and then try not to blink the eyes yeah just keep the eyes open as long as you can if it blinks it blinks but try to avoid as much as possible if you do that more often you will get the feeling of that you can do that the whole time if tears come no problem let them run the meditation mainly activates your third eye which is also intuition you know where you look much deeper into things so it trains the third eye and the third eye is not just here what we all think it's more inside there's a pituitary gland there are some glands in there which is the real point of the third eye 
and this and the looking into the light activates this. And you may see all kinds of things happening visually. That is kind of a catharsis of the third eye, you know, it's okay, don't get attached to it, don't think now whatever magical thing is happening, it's just a catharsis. In case you have a stroboscope light, you can do this, it should be blue. The speed of the light is about seven times of the normal heartbeat, okay? Seven times of the normal heartbeat, but you hear the, the, the beating, so you can adjust it with that and get the feeling. In the stroboscope light you do the same thing, you just stare into the light like within the candle and just let the light enter you and just see what happens and just be still and watch. It activates your third eye stronger with the stroboscope light. Sit relaxed, still, gazing gently at the light, allow it to enter you. The light should be at the eye level at a comfortable distance. The light source can be a candle or a flashing blue light. Don't call it fear, don't give it a label, just simply look. Whatsoever happens, remain with it. Allow it, tremble with it, enjoy it as a deep experience of stirring. In that cyclone, you will come to know that there is a still point somewhere in you that is absolutely untouched. If fear cannot touch it, then death cannot touch it. And in this third stage, we will use the energy called Latian. Yeah, Latian is a divine energy and in a way it's like a god, godly energy, the existence itself entering you and moving you. You will stand and then allow slow movements to happen, whatever that is. So it can be the arms, it can be the whole body, it can be the legs and you may even come down to the floor, you may even do some things where you roll on the floor. Yeah, anything what it is, but wait what's happening. Yeah, so it's an active allowing, an active allowing. It's not like you freeze there and wait that something, that doesn't, you have to cooperate. Yeah, and then, then feel how existence is taking you wherever it is taking you and you watch, you watch what's happening. With closed eyes, stand up. Let your body be loose and receptive. Subtle energies will be felt to move the body outside your normal control. Allow it. You don't do the moving, it happens. gently and gracefully.
When the music stops, you slowly, if you are not on the ground, you slowly cut on the ground, lie on the back, close your eyes and be very present. Yeah, it's not sleeping, it's being present. Yeah, but not doing anything and whatever is happening, you watch it.